Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So today's question is uh, a 13-year-old male boy who was crying out loud was brought to emergency room. So he complained of excruciating burning pain in his limbs. On examination, his blood pressure was 180, 100 and there were numerous papules over his body. Biopsy of these papules revealed accumulation of globocyte. Echocardiography revealed cardiomegaly, so which enzyme deficiency could lead to such condition? So if you collectively look at this particular case stem, so the boy is crying out loud, so this indicates that the boy has pain here. So and then excruciating burning pain in his limbs that is already given here. And the blood pressure is really high, so there is hypertension here. And also the papules, numerous papules over his body. And there is accumulation of globocide in his tissues. And echocardiography is giving a, a feature of cardiomegaly. So there are so many features that are explained here for you to go towards a condition. So first thing is to look out the compound that is accumulated and that is globocide. So globocide is nothing but it is a ceramide plus di tri or tetrasaccharide the by definition globocide is a ceramide plus disaccharide trisaccharide or tetrasaccharide that is attached to ceramide so that is globocide so that kind of material is accumulated here it means you need to restrict yourself with spingolipidosis cases of spingolipidosis where globocide is accumulated here and also going with the signs and symptoms, so painful uh, crisis is seen here. So that is what is burning pain all over the limbs and probably other peripheries. So that is a uh, crisis, painful crisis is seen. And also blood pressure, hypertension is present here. And numerous papules over his body and cardiomegaly. So collectively if you go with this, so I would think about Fabry disease as a case here. Fabry disease. And the Fabry disease is because of a deficiency or defect in alpha-galactosidase enzyme. So this alpha-galactosidase de enzyme deficiency give rise to Fabry disease. Whereas the other choices that are given in the case is like option A gives alpha-1,6-glucosidase. This alpha-1,6-glucosidase is a, it is basically an enzyme which is found in debranching enzyme in the glycogen degradation if it is an acid alpha 16 glucosidase it's a lysosomal enzyme deficiency of that can give rise to pompous disease mutation in uh, beta chain where glutamate is replaced by valine this is something going with sickle cell anemia beta galactosidase enzyme deficiency will give rise to crabby disease lysosomal acid maltase here again that is a uh, cause for pompous disease and the final choice, spingomyelinase enzyme deficiency will give rise to Neiman Pick disease. So going with the choices and the signs and symptoms that are given here in the case stem, this is a case of Fabry disease. So let's move on to see some of the details related to Fabry disease. So the Fabry disease is because of deficiency of alpha-galactosidase enzyme. And this alpha-galactosidase enzyme is responsible for conversion of globocide that is ceramide, glucose, galactose and galactose. This particular molecule is converted to lactosyl ceramide and that is ceramide, glucose and galactose. Glucose and galactose attached to ceramide is also referred as lactosyl ceramide because glucose and galactose is a lactose. This job is done by alpha-galactosidase enzyme. And note that this alpha-galactosidase enzyme is located on X chromosome. Means alpha-galactosidase enzyme gene is located on X chromosome. So it is coded by X chromosome there. So deficiency of alpha-galactosidase will give rise to Fabry disease. So it means Fabry disease is X-linked recessive condition. And that's one of the important points that you should remember with Fabry disease. It's an X-linked recessive condition because of deficiency of alpha-galactosidase enzyme where 
globocide that is ceramide glucose galactose is converted to ceramide glucose and galactose so it means one of the galactose that has to be released here in this reaction galactose has to be released and that galactose is not released here so it means there will be accumulation of a compound and that compound is called as globotriosyl ceramide which is also called as ceramide trihexoside as you can see this ceramide is attached with glucose galactose and galactose so there are three hexoses attached to ceramide that is why this is called as ceramide trihexoside now what all the signs and symptoms that you see in fabry disease so the fabry disease patients will have fabry crisis this fabry crisis is it's a painful burning pain on the periphery especially the the ends of uh, the limbs basically this is called as acroparesthesia and the pain so fabry crisis is one of the first symptom that will bring patient to physician's attention and then along with the fabric crisis because of the accumulation of globotriosyl ceramide or ceramide trihexoside so there will be a dilatation of the blood vessels there will be convulsions of the blood vessels over the uh, miss beneath the skin giving rise to angiokeratomas so angiokeratomas or these are on some of these characteristic signs of fabric disease so angiokeratomas are basically explained as painless papules pinkish painless papules these are the characteristic features of angiokeratoma for a disease fabry disease and the fabry disease patients majority of time they will die because of renal failure so there will be progressive renal deterioration like kidney deterioration will be there decrease in the kidney function ultimately patients will die because of renal failure continuous accumulation of ceramide trihexoside in the heart tissues will give rise to enlargement of the heart giving rise to cardiomyopathy and also accumulation of this globotriosyl ceramide in the blood vessels and because of the cardiomyopathy so patients may have hypertension so these are some of the signs that you are going to see in uh, fabry disease so whenever you see fabry crisis angiokeratoma patients are having renal failure cardiomyopathy hypertension and it's an exclinic condition where males are affected in the family females are f- doing fine so and accumulation of globotriosyl ceramide or ceramide trihexoside should give you an idea about fabry disease that's all about fabry disease this is a brief review if you liked the video so please give a thumbs up or if you want to keep up with the all the updates that are coming up so can consider subscribing to my channel for regular notification Thank you all and have a good rest of your day.